In just moments, 12 players will be plucked from their lives, stripped of everything, and will travel through time. Path to a futuristic utopia where unimaginable comfort is just a click away. The other to the past. A primeval wilderness of darkness and despair. They'll battle it out, but only one will claim the $100,000 grand prize. This is Opposite Worlds, where time determines the game. The show was all about two teams that would live in a single house divided in half by glass into the luxurious future and the difficult hard past. Every week the two teams would compete in the worldly challenge to determine which side of the house to live on, the future or the past, in which the winning team would almost always pick the future. Later in the week the two teams would then select one of their own to become the protected. This person would be safe from elimination. Then the at-home audience would vote for which team's protector to be the decider. The decider would then select one member from each team to face off in the duel of destiny. Who will you choose to enter the duel of destiny? From Team Kronos, I choose Rachel. Rachel, from Team Kronos, you will enter the duel of destiny tonight. Now, for the hard part. Let's take a look at Team Epoch, your team, the guys that you've spent the last week finding shelter, finding warmth, starting fires. I know it's a hard decision. Who will you choose to go up against Rachel tonight? Rachel beat this person in the Worldly Challenge, and I'm going to give her a chance to get a little revenge tonight. It's in Rachel Packin. So, Angela, you're my girl. Woo! Angela! Woo! The duel would decide which of the team's players would be eliminated from the competition that week. Later on down the road in the competition, after a lot of competitors were eliminated, the teams would merge and the players would become individuals. They would then compete in social and physical challenges until only one was left standing and the winner would take home the $100,000 prize. The series was hosted by Luke Tipple and aired on the Sci-Fi Network in early 2014. The premise was based on the Chilean version of the show that aired for two seasons in the early 2010s. This was the first time Sci-Fi had actually aired anything live on their network, so it was pretty groundbreaking for the network. Now the show was produced by iWorks USA. The producers were J.D. Roth and Todd A. Nelson, which were the same producers behind Endurance, a show we talked about before, The Biggest Loser, Bar Rescue. Now, a very interesting aspect of the show is that they use something called the Twitter Popularity Index, and that was used to determine the popularity of each contestant while they were on the show. Now, when people were watching at home, of course, they would tweet online about who they liked, who they hated, and anything they tweeted would impact the game. The most popular contestant of the week would receive a reward, and whoever was not popular received a punishment. It's now time to reveal how you at home have affected the game. Thanks to the Twitter popularity index presented by Verizon, we've determined your favorite and least favorite players. Here they are. Based on your tweets, your favorite player is JR and he will be rewarded next week. Your least favorite player is Jeffrey and he will be punished. Now, it's up to you to decide what their reward and their punishment will be. Visit oppositeworlds.scifi.com to cast your vote, and we'll reveal the results next Tuesday night. Now looking back on the show, the show did get some praise for its new twist on the same old concept of people living inside of a house. I mean, we've seen Big Brother, The Glass House, but never before have we seen more of a have and have not style of competition that was seen here in America. Unfortunately, the show was not renewed for a second season. However, if you are looking for a quick one or two day binge, these 12 episodes that Sci-Fi aired uh, was something I would, I would say was something to tune into. Trust me, at the time, it was, it was groundbreaking to watch. And for me, it was edge on the seat every single week to see which team would come and take over the competition. Was it the underdogs or was it the dominant. 
but trust me you're gonna be inside all day during quarantine you gotta find something to watch why not watch this hey hey thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment on what you want me to cover next make sure to subscribe and also stay safe and healthy out there we together can stop this pandemic and for next time this is reality tv history